Okay, we've got to do a quick disassembly video for the SIG P320. So uh, here we have my SIG P320 compact. You can see here we're clear. But that doesn't even matter. It does, but it doesn't matter because, of course, uh, you don't have to pull the trigger to break down the SIG P320. So here we go. Slides off. We take the slide stop out. The take down lever out, rather. Okay, and you can pull this out with your fingers. Uh, sometimes it's a little bit easier to lever the top out just a little bit for the fire control unit. There we go. So that's out, and this is as far as most people go. Um, really need to go to clean and do regular maintenance on the SIG P320. A couple things I'll show you really quickly. Um, so first you see this right here. This is the takedown safety. This is what makes sure that uh, unless the takedown lever is in the correct position um, that you can't insert a magazine into the gun and the, the trigger will not function. Um, and when you push up on the um, slide release, you'll notice that pops back into place because there's a little spring here that we'll actually be uh, taking out in just a minute um, that gets out of the way. And, and then that, that's just, then once that's out of the way, if you'll notice that you can actually pull the trigger and you'll see the disconnector function right up here at the top will we'll operate after you lift up that slide release. Uh, letting that um, takedown safety return to forward position. So, first thing we're doing here, um, this is a really troublesome little pin here. This is the, uh, it's really an over travel stop or trigger stop pin, and that's one that'll fall out just on its own. It really isn't held in there by anything other than the grip frame module, and that's in place. So, be careful of that. When you take that down, that's an easy one to lose. So put that over here. All right. First thing I'm going to do, take the rest of it apart. I'm going to remove the this main spring down here, which is the trigger bar spring. So I grab it like this and unhook it from the bottom. And once that's out, basically everything else will come right out if you know which direction to pull it. So first start with the trigger bar. Comes out right there, and the trigger itself uh, actually slides out to the side once you have it uh, back a little bit and everything is disconnected there. And that comes off right there. For the slide stop slide release, that's this pin right here. Just punch that to the side. There goes that. And there's a little spring here that goes on the bottom of it. Okay, so there's all the forward parts. Now, for the striker safety, sear, takedown safety, all this is left. Grab a couple of pins we're going to pull out right there. And I'm going to push one out through here, through the side. Now, the takedown safety actually holds quite a bit of this in place. There are two, excuse me, three, actually four very small springs that are in here you have to be careful of, but um, you need to pull this take down safety out of the side to actually let the sear come loose. So the way you do that, I push this forward just a little bit and then let it get to an angle. And then I'm gonna pull it out this way. And there's a little spring that holds it in there. So I like to relieve a little bit of the tension on that spring with a pick or something and just let that pull out to the side. There it goes. Okay, so take down safety's out. And everything else really should just come 
right out now, basically. There we go. There it is. So we have a couple of little itty bitty springs. Should be there's going to be four there. We're looking for uh, uh, one of them will stay in the housing. Hopefully, that's the takedown safety spring. Let you see these little guys here. These are really easy to lose, so be very careful as you're you're taking this down. And actually, if we want to go one step further here, you can take this housing out um, of the fire control unit. The way you do that is just with these pins here. You can just drift these this pin out, um, and then that comes the rest of that comes out. It's actually really easy to do. But for and the one that comes out, you have to be careful of that final spring that you can see right in through here. Uh, if you want to do that, that's easy. Again, just you can take a I, I use a like a brass um, hammer and just tap it out to one side, and the whole thing comes out there. Um, let's see. Yeah, we can do that. goes and there's the rest of it okay that is it now we'll do another one shows how to put it back together